I like these Max Ace knives. The Balance S, not the Balance M. Remember, I did a video on the Max Ace Balance M. This is M390. Okay, this is a heavier knife. This is titanium backspacer pocket clip, titanium surround on the pivot, titanium liners. And I got mine from White Mountain Knives. And LTK discount code gives you 10% off. But that's not the point of this video. But I thought I'd throw this in because you know what? Most of my knives that I review, I sell them off. Well, through necessity, mostly. If I kept every knife I loved, uh, I'd probably be divorced. Uh, but because I'd have half a million dollars worth of knives. But I kept this one for months and months because the design is so sensible. I really like the balance. I'm going to tell you more about it. But this is, this is a different knife now. This is the Balance S, not the Balance M. Okay, check it out. Compare, compare, okay? No titanium, okay? No titanium surrounds. No titanium liners. These are just steel liners, okay? No titanium pocket clip, just a stainless steel pocket clip. But, and no titanium backspacer. Just G10. Now, look at that. Look at the pocket clip. Which pocket clip do you want? You know, I like the deep carry. Although it'd have been nice if these were flush. These screws here were flush. But it's a deep carry pocket clip. G10 scales. Okay. Still getting that. Still getting the basic knife. Except you're not getting this cutaway up here. No cutaway at all. Full flat grind. I'll tell you, there's another knife I really, really like because it's a full flat grind and it's really usable. And I'll tell you what, uh, I feel that this Max Ace Balance S is as nice to carry and as practical to use as the Para Military 2. Now, Para 2 gives you, you know, tip up, tip down, left, right. This does not. Okay, so there you go. But this gives you a deep carry pocket clip. Of course, well, this puppy's M390. But I mean, the standard one's S30V. And a hundred and whatever dollars. This is 55 bucks. So after 10% discount, LTK discount. Uh, so it's uh, $49.50 delivered. Like I said, it's not M390. It's 14C28N. No, it's not D2. D2 burnout? Ah, feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel good to get a little 14C28N back in your diet? Oh, can you get a rake knife for less than $49? Sure you can. Sure you can. But I'll tell you what. I like this. I like this a lot. Look at this jimping up here. It's good. Max Ace makes a good knife. I'll send this in, get the 14C28 in. I'll get a Rockwell. I mean, you know, we test the M390 and all that stuff on Max Ace. So I'm not going to worry about a PMI test on, on Sandvik. But uh, I'll get a Rockwell. <sighs> Centered, no lock rock, no blade play, no issues. Uh, I would say, you know, this feels like a mm, more sturdy detent than a lot of knives I've had lately. I'm pulling, and look at it, it's jimped up here, and there's your stop up there. But it's jimped. I'm pulling, pulling. Whew, that's pretty snappy. That's pretty snappy. I cannot throw this out. Gravity flip. I cannot do that. I'll try one more time. Hold on. Uh, no, not even close. Okay, no. So this is... Whew, when it gets over 5, it gets pretty snappy. This is definitely over 5 on my D10 scale. I mean, a lot of the ones I've been doing lately have been 3.8 to 4.7. But this one, 
I'd give it a solid 5.3 to 5.5 on the D10. Now, you can get them in pink and you can get them in black. You can't get these in green. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so really, these two, the detent, pretty much even up there. There's an optic color. Drop that on the ground, you'll find it. Yeah, that... Whew, pop that baby out. These are nice. Ooh. Yeah, they are. Let's, let's see if we can fail it. Oh, man, no. No, 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 no. Okay, so I'm wasting a lot of your time. Ah. Whew. It does have a backspacer, and the, I'm going to take one of these apart. Okay? T take one of these apart. Um, but skeletonized liners. Uh, <clears throat> Get some stats on it. Yeah, can we say 3.6, 3.65 at 90, about 95 millimeters? Come on, hold on there. 93, 90, yeah, 93 millimeters, 3.6 inch blade, and it's over an eight and a quarter, but it's not quite eight and three eighths. Right at 21 centimeters. How fat are you? Uh, ooh. 13.7.54 blade stock 0.12 at 3.2 let's push 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 3.1 uh, 0.12 so 3.1 millimeter I guess you can basically say three millimeter blade stock oh hold on hold on most importantly most importantly Will a knife be a knife? Yes. Yes, it will. Let me take this one. Oh, yeah. See, they're both about equally sharp, too. Pretty nice on the sharper side of a standard factory edge, I would tell you. And the good thing about these, that 14C28N, have you ever just, like, lightly stropped it or just uh you know it doesn't take much to bring an edge back on these things so that it's a workable steel it's so nice and workable and it's a true stainless the action is great okay push this away here uh the pass through is easy to get to it's jimped easy to disengage you've got contoured g10 scales here with a lanyard hole. Wow, I like the deep carry. This goes in and out of my pocket, no problem. This is so easy to carry. The big thing is, and this is important, is that it's so much lighter than the uh, than the M. Okay, it's 142 grams, so it's not a super lightweight. It's five ounces, okay? This five ounces. But the Max Ace uh, Balance M, because of the titanium stuff, is 5.83, okay? It's 165 grams. So 5.83, this is almost an ounce lighter than this. So yeah, this is 100 and a quarter. Uh, before, so it's like 112, something like that after discount. This one's 49.50 delivered. This just a user B carried around, but I like the, I really like the design. I just think this is a classic design, and let me let me show you something about that. Okay, so this is like what I was talking about. This is the Balance M with the M390. 125 bucks minus 10%, whatever, okay? This is the Balance S, and they're in stock now. And so get them all you can because a lot of these are now out of stock. 
Uh, I don't know where you get them once they're gone. Uh, maybe AliExpress or something. I don't know. But I was just comparing this to the Honey Badger for a reason. And I'll get into that. Okay, Honey Badger D2. But it is not G10. This is not G10. This is that FRN stuff, okay? So that's not as nice. 59 bucks for just a D2. Now, mine is is G10 and this is 14C 28 and Sandvik. So, gives you a break there. Plus, mine is like 49.50 delivered. This is 59. And I don't even know if this includes shipping. So, it's $10 cheaper. $10 cheaper. Okay? Now, and there's what the honey badger looks like, correct? And this is why Chan Aiden of Max Ace Knives was upset, understandably, when this came out. Because here's the old Max Ace Balance. This is a picture off of Blade HQ, but there's the Max Ace Balance. Okay, this is back when it was, what, 440C or... They made it in a couple of different steels here. Okay, so this is the old school Max Ace Balance. I've had one of these before. I don't have this one anymore. But there it is. Okay, bingo, come here. Honey Badger. Max Ace Balance. Other than the slot, the way the slot's cut on the blade, it's pretty much the same knife. So, yeah, I get it. Yeah, and a lot of knives resemble a lot of other knives. But, yes. But even, I mean, a lot of people really love the Honey Badger. They've gone crazy over it and all that stuff. And that's when it was 8CR13. Then they went to D2. Well, then the price went up from like 35 bucks up to almost 60 So, no, no. Why wouldn't I buy the original which is the, the balance um, that the Badger was, was uh, formulated to, to look like. Only this is a more sophisticated, nicer design here. A lot more solid with these super nice uh, skeletonized steel liners that show. Okay, they show. They're not embedded, and it's not FRN, and it's not real thin, cheapy uh, stuff. It's good solid right here. Detent rocks. It's good. Um, I wouldn't like it as much if you had an opportunity to finger flick or thumb flick, because then I'd think the detent, the detent would be too tough. But since you only got one way to open it, not a problem here. Not a problem here. So, ergos, of course, are great. Deep carry pocket clip, you don't really feel it that much because you're up here. Most of your hand is here. Very little of your hand is where that depth is. Okay? See what I'm saying? Not really much here. That's all hanging. But this is here. Good. Reverse grip. Finer than fine. When I got this S in my hand, I go, yes, yes, this is the user knife. This is the user knife. See, this is, eh, I know, and the detent on this is lighter too, is a little softer. That's definitely softer. Definitely softer, let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can definitely uh, gravity flip this easy. This is like a 4.7, 4.5. Much lighter detent, okay? This, much stiffer detent. Bam. Uh, I just really like the, you know, piercing, slicing, the fact that it's a workable steel, the fact that it's a true stainless, so it's way more corrosion resistant than D2. Just handsome, done. I mean, the look at the, look at the hardware, okay? Like socket head, but they're machined, okay? See the pivot on the back side? Machined. Hardware. Nice. Okay. The battle cloth is down. Um, there's all kinds of probably DNA and <laughs> don't get the cadaver dogs out. I don't know what's going on. 
It's amazing what the hell these claws go through. Okay, let's see what we got. Do we got number sixes or these number eights? Ho, whoa, whoa. Bo, bo, bo. Yeah, that's good. That's a good thing. Right? Here we are hitting it. Now, here's the front. No access. The back. These are all number eights. That is another big, huge plus. Oh, wow. Easy to come apart. Wow. Excellent. Let's see how this rolls. Yeah. No spinning pivots, no problems, no issues. Oh, wow. That just popped right up. There's a deep carry clip, so you can unscrew that if you want and then pull the liner completely away. But there you go. And, of course, you don't need any um, steel washers because it's a steel liner, etc., etc. And it looks like just a standard. It's not a ceramic detent ball. And it's skeletonized. And here we go. Uh, there's your bearings. Blade, come off of there. Dump. Uh, yep. Dump. Oh, so yeah, it is a D-shaped pivot. So another plus plus. Yeah. And there's your, uh, you know, your backspacer. Not a problem. So this really comes apart easy. Easy breezy disassembly, that's for sure. And there's your detent hole, your track. It's not really a ramp there. But there you go. So it looks actually stonewashed around the pivot where it's not, you know, where the where it's here, where it's not ground. Yeah, nice smooth edges. Wow, okay. Easy done there. And then here's your um, presentation side. So if you got a D-shaped pivot here, what's the news? Um, okay. So it probably needs to face like that, which means is there something... Ah, there you go. It's D-shaped here. There's a flat spot right here. Okay. So that keeps that pivot from turning. Okay. I was wondering where that was. See, it's going to have to be like that for it to line up with that side. Okay. So, easy breezy. Throw it back together. Not difficult. And, uh, wow. Came apart like a like a fine machine, it really did. That was easy. Okay, man, well, throw another bearing thing on here and put a little juice in here and not on the bearing, huh? Just over it. Oh, where's my detent? There you go. Run a little along the track there. And then I guess I just slap it on. I feel like I'm forgetting something. It's just too damn easy. Oh, well, i got to make sure this lines up here on the pivot with that D-shape. And, yes, it did. Snaps together. I don't know how many of these Justin got at White Mountain, so sometimes he's a little, you know conservative ordering not knowing how they're going to sell and that could be the only issue otherwise you might have to go shopping elsewhere and you know i'm not sure where that elsewhere would be okay solid there I mean, you can get them on like AliExpress, but it's, you know, two to three weeks. And there's some people don't like using their credit card on the Chinese side. So it's always nice. It's always nice to be able to get it in three days, right, here in the U.S. So let me see where we are here. Oh, well, we're solid. Are we too solid? Yeah, that's solid. 
that's okay. I don't, it's not too hard. And yeah, it's centered right up. Man, that is really, wow. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I really am. Nice. Gosh dang it. Yeah, these are nice. I'm really impressed. I know, I know. You're like, what the hell's wrong with you? Um, there's nothing wrong with these. That's what's wrong with me is, is I can't pick these apart because I don't find fault with them. I like the steel. Uh, I like the grind. I like the design. The detents just right. The hardware's nice, machine shiny. Uh, the G tents nice and grippy. Uh, you know, lanyard hole is right through that backspacer, so it's tubed. You tell me. Uh, I think it's just a wonderful knife in terms of form and function, design, everything. So. Uh, I can't fault it. It's just a great knife. Good carry user because it's so inexpensive as well. Okay, we'll put you in the picture too, buddy. Yeah, it can't leave the M out. The M's good knife. I mean, it's a great knife. And with M390, it's good. But th these are the things I'd carry and use. Beater style, you know? I mean, just the all-around, everyday carry. And then give them a lick or two and sharpen them right up. Take care, I'm gonna let you go. Do really like these. Hopefully they stay in stock for a while because uh, a lot of people really need to get a chance to get their hands on one of these. And take care you guys. We appreciate you. Stay sharp.